Hello and welcome back to the Fundamentals of NumPy tutorial. In this section, we'll be going through, in this video, we'll be going through the final section of uh, pivoting NumPy arrays, and we'll be talking about squeezing and expanding arrays. So just like we said, uh, pivoting arrays basically means moving elements. We're not creating a new array or we're not creating new elements within the array, but we're moving the elements within the array into different uh, axes as we may deem fit. So squeezing and expanding array is basically just like the name says. We can choose to squeeze an array, making us reduce the number of dimension only if we achieve uh, a particular, um, only if we achieve a particular uh, condition. And the condition is that the axis that you're trying to squeeze, basically you're trying to drop that axis. That axis must have uh, a value of one. What that means is um, if you have a value greater than one, if the shape of, if the value of that, or say that row or column or batch is more than one, then you really can't drop it. I'm going to give you an example here. So we start by creating a new array. Uh, in this case, we use four by one by five. And uh, note that that's basically created an array in which one axis has uh, a unit length. So, um, uh, okay, I didn't expect this to print this way. So maybe I do this, sir. All right. So it comes to a new rule. Now, uh, now the idea between uh, the idea behind squeezing, it, squeezing rather, the idea behind squeezing is that in some cases we have an array, we have an array where um, its structure is such that maybe we don't need an extra dimension. If we look at this, we have this, sorry, we have this, right? We have this row that is enclosed in another array, but that's the only element within that row. Uh, so this row, sorry, this one is an uh, is an array of uh, five elements within a, uh, within that array, and then that array is placed in another array. But the outer array, that's this one, the outer square bracket here has only one element, which is the array of five elements. It has no other element. And then that goes on for all the batches, for all four batches. So I might as well drop this and make it. So this is basically telling me I have four batches. Each batch has one row and five columns. So I might, I might as well just say this is an array of four rows and five columns and drop this single um, this single uh, the axis, right? And so that's what we do with squeezing. We're trying to go from 4, 1, 5 to 4, 5. So the, the method to do that is np.squeeze and we pass in the array we're trying to squeeze in. And um, I'm just going to do just a print on a new line. Uh, when we print the new array, we see that it's kind of similar to this, but we've just lost that extra uh, layer, that extra layer, which each row was wrapped in. And so we just have a four by five array. That's four rows and five columns, not necessarily four batches of one row and five columns. So that's a squeezing, uh, but just along one axis, right? So um, another thing you can do is in cases where you have a multiple unit length within that array, like this one here, we have a one by four by one by five array, which is, okay, I just printed on a new line so we can easily visualize this. We have something like this. So this is, so, this, this part is just like the first one we have where this array is basically just one element, which is another array of five elements, right? But we also notice that all of this from here, all of this uh, down to here is, 
one array that is specified within um, another array. So what that's saying is just one array. Everything here is just one element of the array that is specified here. So we can as well lose flatten, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, well, I don't want to say flatten because flatten makes a 1D array. So more like we can squeeze it to drop that unit length, that unit axis. Uh, and so when I pass in, when I pass in squeeze without specifying any axis, it's going to squeeze out all the unit length axis. And so this would give us something like this. Uh, print this on a new line, sorry. Yeah, so we've lost, and then the, the, um, the new dimension is four by five. So we've lost, um, <coughs> excuse me, we've lost the first um, dimension and the third dimension, which are both unit length. So you, uh, one thing to note again is you cannot squeeze an array. You cannot squeeze an array that, um, you cannot squeeze an array that is not, that does not have a unit length axis. The same way we squeeze the air, even if we have more than one unit length, we can choose to maybe drop only one and retain one for some reason. So in this case, I'm dropping, I'm choosing to drop axis two, axis index two. Index two is basically this, because it start from zero. So this zero, one, and two here. So I'm dropping this, and then I have one comma four comma five. So that's squeezing arrays. Um, I'm just going to collapse this so I can move on to unsqueezing array. Now in this section, it's basically uh, when you squeeze an array, you want to expand it back, right? Uh, you want to insert you want to insert a unit axis at a specified position. So I create a new array again, kind of similar to the old one we created, but with new values. Right, and um, it's a four by five array. Now, if I want to expand the dimension of this, so I want to move from it being a two dimensional array to a three dimensional array without reshaping. So I just basically want to add a new axis and additional axis to it. I specify at what point I want to add the axis, which is um, z uh, at axis one. So that's at this point here because again, it's zero index. So when I run this, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so I have something similar to what we squeezed at first. So you just need to specify the axis you want to um, put your unit, uh, the new, the additional uh, uh, dimension to. If we want, if you specify um, at axis zero, uh, so the new shape will be 1, 4, 5. And if we specify as axis 2, it would be 4, 5, 1. So the last part of this would be, the last part of this would be, um, you can specify multiple axes you want to expand, uh, you want to insert new dimensions mm -hmm. into, right? And uh, you do that by, uh, you know, in this case, the axis takes in an integer value. Right, you specify multiple axes by using a tuple. And so I'm saying I want to put in a new a unit axis at index zero and at index two, so that four comma five becomes one comma four comma one comma five. And so if we print this out, we should have this. Right. And uh, we basically expanded it back to what we originally had from the squeeze. So uh, a shape similar to what we had from the squeeze, from the squeezing section. And so that brings us back, that brings us uh, to the end of the pivoting arrays, uh, NumPy arrays section. Uh, the next sections would be combining data and making mathematical operations on NumPy arrays. Uh, I do hope that this has been really helpful and clear. Uh, make sure to make more examples, play around with this with more examples and more array dimensions to understand it better. Thanks for listening and have a good one. Bye-bye.